Good morning, everyone. It is October 28th. Well, Friday, October 28th. 7.37 a.m. That's why the colors and everything look the way they are. <laughs> it's early morning here. I only have my uh, tower lights on straight white, and then I have a little lamp right here. Um, just to give me a little light here so you can see me. Otherwise, it'd be pretty dark in here. It's, it's pretty dark out. Um, well, this is the daily vlog, of course. Um, I did start it yesterday, but some things happened with the video and it got corrupted or something. I don't know exactly what happened. I think I was messing around with it too much. I don't know. So the file didn't get transferred. So anyway. Anyway. Today's a new day. Today's a new day. Yes, it is. And today, I want to... Oops. Sorry about that. Actually, that might be a little better, actually. Not too much on me. Yeah, there we go. Today, I want to talk about the reason why I started this vlog and the reason why I started all of this is because I was given another chance. The whole reason behind everything that I'm doing is God. 100% God. I'm a, I'm a priest now. I got ordained earlier this year. And I owe my life to God. Because of that. Because I saw things spiraling down a very dark hole. And I knew I needed to get myself out of it. And I know the only one that could help me has been God. He's been there all my life. Haven't really utilized him until now. But now I'm thankful I did. I wish I'd done it a lot sooner, though. So that's the reason why I want to be here and talk to you guys about this stuff. is To give you a little hindsight of my life. But also share the word of the Lord that... He could help you as well. And you don't have to suffer like I did. Especially if you're younger and a lot better shape than I am. <laughs> Put it that way. Uh, not too many people are in my, in my situation. The Lord has worked a lot of miracles in my life. And that's why I'm here to talk about. Because he gave me a second chance. And becoming... A, a, a pastor and becoming there we go there we go well that's maybe like this there we go okay sorry I just like lighting better this way so as I was saying sorry getting off topic it's what i do it's one of my illnesses that i have is i i, I think i have all day oh, adult adhd where uh i just go from one subject to the next um so excuse me for that uh so like i was saying no um because god has given me uh, another chance and um being that it may, I figured that would part of the thank you to the Lord that I would actually spread his word and tell people my story and see if it influences other people to, you know, do better and uh, look to him for help and advice because he's there for every boy. He's there. I mean, he's always there. You just got to utilize him and talk to him. I mean... In this day and age, we need God. I know they try to get rid of God out of schools and out of everything and stuff like that, but we really need him. We need him now more than ever, really. Some radicalists say he's coming, and others say we're just, you know, we're just waiting for him to come back and, and stuff like that. Me... 
I don't know. I can't tell the future. But all I can tell you is I'm here because of him. And I can't thank him enough. I really can't. I've had many, many close encounters with death. Some intentional. Not proud of it. But it never happened. I always came back. I always am here. I can't go anywhere. So I took that also as a sign that said, Will, you need to get out there and do something about this. You need to go out there. God doesn't want you home yet. God's got a purpose for you. And yes, he does. He has a purpose for all of us. And it's not like he's going to tell us either, just so you know. He, he, he'll show us, but in his own way. Like with this whole me being a minister. I never in my life as a young person would have thought of being one. In fact, I guarantee if I went on my Facebook and talked to a couple of my old classmates, now, I even went to a Christian school. I went to a Schenectady Christian school in Scotia, New York, and I guarantee there'd probably be a lot of students in there saying, you do what? Wait, badass Will Rankin is now a minister? Wait, wait, the one who was always in trouble at school? Huh. <laughs> well, I mean, now they wouldn't say it because they're adults now and they realize people do change their ways and they also a lot of them you know know that God works in mysterious ways too so it probably wouldn't be too much of a surprise but um, some people it may be um, and I'm just fortunate to have this opportunity and now I'm going to share with everyone and tell them you know I mean, I'm trying to get back on track here doing this weekly, or doing this daily thing. So, it's, it's a mixture of things, plus also my journey of, of how this all happened, okay? And, and, you know, just giving inspiration to those who need it. This is more of an inspirational show, or channel, or whatever you want to call it, than anything, because... These days, people do need inspiration. I mean, they need they need help. A lot of people don't know where to go with this. The way the world is, they they don't know what to do. They're they're lost. They're confused, and you know, or they're unfortunately they're being led astray. And we need to get them back on the right path. Um, unfortunately, I want to try and not be political, but unfortunately, because of the way the world is, I'm going to be saying some political things. So if you can't handle that, I am sorry, but that's just the way it's got to be because it's the way the world is. Everything is politics nowadays. It's sad and it's sickening, you know, but that's just the way it is. Politics has gotten their hands into everything that we've done in our lives now. And it shouldn't be. That's the problem. It shouldn't be that way. Politics are only supposed to be there to help our country and, and keep our country safe and make our country money. That's basically all they're supposed to do. They're not supposed to be in our lives as in social socialism or anything like that. They're not supposed to do any of that. But of course... Nowadays, they, they're trying, and it's sad, and it's sickening, very sad and sickening at times, and that's why our country's in very, very bad times right now, with the administration that we have in office. It doesn't seem like they want God anywhere around. 
It's sad. That they don't even realize that God is and will be always here. And you can't stop them. This country was founded by God. In a way. Hear me out. Um, our forefathers, you know, Washington and all of them, they, they left because of, uh, they left England because of the king there, who was forcing things upon everyone. But yet, the religious part, even though people always sit there and say, oh, there should be, uh, you know, uh, separation between church and state. Well, that's, that's fine and dandy for some of you. But to me, no. No, God made this country. God made this earth. God made all of us. Okay? So he should be involved in, in stuff. In fact, he is, actually. No matter what you do, except for what they're trying to do right now, is they're, well, I don't know if they're still trying to do it yet. I haven't looked into this lately, but you know, cryptocurrency, that good old digital, you know, digital money. Well, the reason behind that is because so they can get rid of God. Because if you go in your wallet right now or purse and you open up and you look at the cash that you have, a dollar bill, any dollar actually, any any bill note that you have, okay? Any, you know, five dollar, ten dollar, fifty, you know, twenty dollar, I was about to say fifty dollars, I don't know what I was gonna say. But fifty oh fifty dollar, yeah, yeah. Okay, any of those kind of amounts of money on the back of it is one phrase you will always see. In God we trust. It's on every single one of them. You can't get away from it. So no matter what who you are, you're always carrying God with you. Now some can argue that well, that doesn't mean the Christian God. That could be any God. Okay, if you want to think that, but you know what? That's the sad part is it's not true. There is one and only God. And he's up there, and that's who they're talking about on that, and on, no, on that dollar bill that you got in your hand, that dollar, that the bill, the note, whatever they want to call it. That's who they're talking about. And I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, they're, they're trying to get rid of that because they want to switch over to digital currency. So that way you don't have God in your hand anymore. You don't have to look at that note and sit there and say, oh, a God we trust. Oh, oh, oh God we trust. Oh, no. No, they don't want you to do it. They, when they want you to do that, they don't want you to know that, about that. In fact, they don't even want you to read cursive anymore. The kids, they don't even teach cursive to kids anymore. So you can't even read the Declaration of Independence. Or anything. The Constitution or any of that. It's all written in cursive. But they won't teach kids that because, yeah, we don't want the kids knowing about that stuff. You know, we can get rid of that now. We can get rid of that. Uh, get rid of the Constitution. Get rid of the... Bill of Rights, get rid of all that stuff. These people don't need that. No, we're going to control them. We're going to mind. We're going to mind control them. We're going to brainwash them. We're going to turn them into what we want them to do. We're going to make them do what we want, and they're going to surrender to us. If not, we're going to control the population by sticking a little in their freaking in their bodies, and then they go. Don't believe me, look up the research on it. A lot of people that took that jab, and I mean it, jab. I'm not going to say the V word because it's not a V word. It's a jab. None of that stuff that's in there is good for you. Everybody that took it has a good chance of, well, meeting God soon. So... I just hope those who did that are around me and that are my loved ones, I hope it doesn't affect them.
No, don't get me being a conspiracy theorist and saying, oh, you're one of them that, oh, you're, you're going to say that the, 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 vac the, the virus wasn't real. Oh, it was real. The problem being, it was just like it is every year. Okay, it was a little stronger. Yes, it was a little, there was a virus that was a little, that was a little stronger that they made. But by stronger, I mean it's a little more powerful than the flu and the common cold. Did it have other effects to it? Yes, that one strand did. Was it deadly? Oh, yeah. It, it could have been, you know, could have been, but it wasn't. 99.6 or something was the total, I think, at the end of it all, recovery rate. All those COVID deaths they talked about were false. All those bodies and images that you saw were false. Old new, old old footage and everything else of massacres probably long ago or not long ago. But I mean, long you know. Actually, I don't even know Hollywood style video. Probably that's all they were because. The death total, the real death total put out by the CDC was the same as it is every year. How is We shut our country down. We shut our country down and locked everybody away and even told people if you don't wear a mask that we're going to lock you up over something that exists every year. Oh, that's right. It was an election year. Oh, because they wanted to get the, the, the uh, uh, you know, um, what did they call him? Uh, Orange Man. They wanted to get Orange Man out of office. So the only way they knew how to do that was they had to create a situation where... Everybody would stay home and they could mess with the voting system. Or they, or some people just wouldn't come out and vote because they were too scared, they thought, of the virus. Or the, you know, whatever you want to call it. Well, it was a virus. You know, you know flu and <laughs> flu and cold or virus, yeah. So... That was their whole plan, and now it works, of course, because people were cheap and followed through. And now we have this problem with our country where the administration right now doesn't give two craps about us. They're worried about other countries and other people than us. We didn't have a war or anything for four years, when Orange Man Bad was in office, and now, all of a sudden, we're having wars all over the place, and uh, attacks, and everything else, and, and and all this, you know, stuff going on with the schools and the kids. We never had any of that for four years. What the heck happened? Oh, that's right. The Democrats happened. It's sad. It really is sad. But I'm going to have to end it for today. Because I'm getting a little too long here. And I got some other stuff I got to do this morning. But, tomorrow Saturday... I'm going to start doing this more often, so I'm going to start doing this on a daily basis. In fact, I'm going to upload this shortly now, from now, uh, on the laptop and uh, get it out there. So uh, you can watch it later today, on Friday, the uh, 28th of October. So anyways, y'all be safe. Y'all be good. God loves you, and I love you. Shall we begin?